providing regular and constant and timely updates to the game would be healthy. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Bragio. It was cold. I was was about to say, it was apparently very cold. Yeah. And Ben from Nolan TCG. It is quite chilly. I'm just soft now. Jake, we have to go outside to get dinner after this. Yeah. And that's why I have worn appropriate clothing. Yeah, maybe some pants would do me some good. (laughs) Yes. Yes, it is. This is thin. Uh, How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Brag, did you get up too much this week? Well, this wasn't the week that I went to locals, was it? No. No, no, yeah. That's because the previous Thursday, so since I've been on, because I was on last week's episode. Oh. Oh. Actually, no, that's a lie. I was. I turned up and said the uh, hangover cure. Yes. Yes. You did, in fact, walk through frame and say that Gatorade is good for hangovers. Or Powerade. Or Staminade. They're less than them, cousin. Or Picari Sweat, if you're in Japan. Oh, Just whatever. make sure you're putting something before aid as your hangover cure. First aid? <laughs> yeah, that'll do. Uh, otherwise, uh, I've got my linkages in the mail, so the deck is popular, popper ready to fire. Um, just finding the afternoons to get in and play that and also i realize i'm very close to august so i should get my pokemon stuff in order so there's a bit more pokemon than i would like happening but it's okay we ain't playing pokemon worlds well you aren't i aren't i ain't got a ticket to go eh, no I, we, I, you I, can sneak in there's, I, there's a million people we can hit up if we if you really want it in i just want to go to the shop yeah, and you can get in the shot. That lottery is the one that I'm most I, worried about. I entered that lottery. <laughs> yeah. Like. I entered that lottery. I entered in like three time slots for one day. Yeah. So, welcome to our personal conversation that we haven't had. Look, well, lotteries in Japan, Japan, like, it's. <laughs> They've got and the shit fight. that we talked about prior to the podcast that was on camera still how's, wasn't this. How's it the audience for. Other well, how's the audience for Yu Gi Oh! Worlds? <laughs> Uh, like, is it I a lottery too? I haven't tried to figure that out yet, but I, well, I probably should because I'm gonna be there. And it's probably gonna be a lottery. Probably. It's they just that card though. Yeah. They oh. always they always give a promo card for attendance. I want it. I'm now back in Tokyo that weekend as well, so Ooh. I might go. We're gonna go to Worlds. Yeah. So much to do. Uh, and yeah, and since there is so much to do, you get kind of lacking. But can we make a sign and hold it up in the crowd that says "Going fast makes you feel alive"? I reckon. Yeah. Are you going to have the translation in Japanese on the other side? Sure. <laughs> if it translates. I wonder what his um, catchphrase is. But yeah, very quiet week, Yu Gi Oh! wise. Ben. So on Tuesday, I proceeded to not win a die roll for the third locals in a row. Uh, went really badly, given that I'm playing a deck that thrives on going first. Um, that it does. That it does. So I think I went like 2 2. I was like, I. Uh, eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Um, today I win X1, and I won a die roll. You did. But I lost that match. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, like, I think against Luke, I lost die roll, and he's like, you can go first. And I was like, good. And then he shifted me, and I was like, bad. <laughs> I'm going to set five. And he was like, you drew for turn. He's like, hmm, I've also bricked. Set three. And I was like... Ah, uh, yes. You are dead now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have fun. I'm enjoying playing the deck, the very least. It'll be a case of... Eh, I'm going to play it at Oshis and just have fun with it. Soon I'll be able to play competitively with it, and it'll be the best deck in the world. <laughs> it's going to win worlds. Sure. Whatever, you, whatever you say, then. I didn't even say what I'm playing. I'm playing Rescue Ace. I don't think I said I was playing Rescue Ace on last week. I mean, go Ace. Ace. Yeah, I think you did. If Rescue go Ace makes it in the final, we should have a go Ace. We could double up on the signage. Yes. <laughs> We're going to have all the signs in the crowd. Woo! <laughs> and they ask you to go leave because your signs are distracting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my week. Uh, so, Tuesday... Oh, wait, I didn't finish my week. I also bought a Quartzy Razzie. He did, in fact, buy a Quartzy Razzie. It's Imagine not good enough to pull down. one. <laughs> nah. I nah, bought, bought me a Quartzy Razzie. Wait, was it cracked today? Or was it just... It was, it was just, just in there. the store. Like, the store doesn't have the product, so someone else bought it somewhere and then sold it to... And sold it to the store. Yeah. So I ended up with a Quartzy Razzie Dante. 
happy for that. It looks nice. They look way better than I thought originally. Mm. Um, yeah, I'm a fan of them. Like, if this particular run, I'm not super invested into getting any particular ones other than maybe Dark Hole and Terraforming. Um, just because a lot of them are sort of archetypal and I don't play any of the set archetypes. You mean you've never played Burning Abyss? I don't know if I have. In I'd, fact, no. I'd be, I'd be surprised if you had, to be honest. I've had it at multiple intervals. I've oh. owned a Burning Abyss core, but I've never played it. Dude, when was the last time you summoned a black card? That's quite a way to describe it. Um, in physical game or otherwise? In the physical card game. Do you it? Yeah, he would have made Zeus. I wasn't playing Zeus. Oh, Dweller. Yes. yes. Interesting. I went right to Baguska, Baguska Dweller, Zeus. Beatrix, uh, Beatrix, Wallow. Beatrix uh, Strange. <laughs> Beatrice, sorry. Beatrice, Wallow, uh, Time Ooh. Thief, and uh, Bugoo. Oh, uh, yeah, here's Time Thief shit as well. Time Thief good. Yeah, Time Thief is an XC deck. It is. Actually, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, well, we'll chat about you it. You're going to talk about it now. No, no. Uh, my week. No, I thought you were going to. I thought you were masturbating and playing Time Thief on Master Duel with your special. Oh, oh no, you're one to talk. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, FTK. FTK. <laughs> ah. No, no. And the deck I play. But I don't think. I think. He's missed the point of my, my my derivative there, for sure. Go on. No one cares. Anyway, my week. Uh, so Tuesday and today... Redo is not that sexy. No. Per Perpetua. I was going to say Petulia, whatever it's called. Perpetua. Nah, she good. Anyway, um, yeah, my week, today and Sunday, both went... Oh, yeah, today, Sunday. Today and Tuesday, I went next one. Um, deck's still performing okay, although I have seen a build online that I think I might uh, pivot more towards. It's a bit more aggressive on the no, please stop playing uh, aspect of the deck. Um, and yeah, just does a lot more stuff. Uh, takes out a lot of the bricks as well, which is an issue that I keep coming across. Um, but other than that, the deck's still performing fine, so even if I don't decide to, it'll still do the thing. Um, in the finals today, the main issue I ran across is that, um, like, I just, I got even lead at one point, and rather than, um, keeping the monster that would have kept me in play, I kept a trap that was, like, gonna disrupt his board. I should just let him set up the board with whatever extra deck thing he wants, because my deck doesn't care about the extra deck, so let him do what he likes. This wasn't when I evenly jake. When I evenly jake, I couldn't play. <laughs> I even so laughably unplayable that I was like... <laughs> Us? <laughs> Where it's like, oh, I hope that this is enough of a nuke on him that he can't play, and then hopefully I can play in two turns. Oh, I don't I mind. <laughs> when he first played it, I didn't even realise he'd played it. Yeah, he, he sat there he with it on the board, and, and I was, I was like, like, okay, so main phase two, do this, do this. He's like, <clears throat> there's a there's an evenly match that's on the board. I right was like, now. oh, okay, banish these things. Anyway, main phase two, do 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 do. <laughs> His do 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 was just a do as he set two cards in the past. I did. No, do 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 do. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Why not? And was enough to win the game? What was already on board was enough to win the game. It just had to keep attacking. Yeah. Yeah. I had that's, no cards that could be summoned. That's like my favourite thing about this deck is that like if all else fails, like if you don't get to rip the extra deck and you don't get to do the thing, you still just have a massive body. Just a fucking yeah. huge thing on the board. And I got to attack over it. You did. Yeah, because in, in our game too, I bricked really bad. I saw uh, two copies of pre-prep in my hand, which only adds the shittest cards in my deck. So I win die roll, and Jake's like, oh, I've bricked. And I was like, oh, well, I've kind of bricked. So, like, let's see how this goes. And then he's like, imperm. And I'm like, okay, well, I have the card that lets me play on your turn. I pass. But Jake summons his Ecclesia, triggers off my impulse, and he's like, ash. And I'm like, so, so you had two hand traps in full combo? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. You bricked. Yes. <laughs> Gets worse than that too because I had the deer. <laughs> yeah. I, d I wasn't looking at my hand properly, obviously, when I said that I broke. I was just like, ah, oh, this, this, this is some brick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, look, in game two, I actually didn't open all that well. I like got to just the two bad ritual spells and just summoned the big dude. And it, it, because of the chat that you had on the previous podcast, I thought you just flushed your extra deck with a bunch of shit to trigger if no, I made your sense shit stuff. talking so that you wouldn't activate your effects. <laughs> yeah, which I didn't for a long time. And then in... To be fair, I thought you were playing around the fact that I had the one in hand that I could discard and special summon. Like, 
the game wasn't over until you activated effect on field and i was like ah this card full combo cool if you just didn't activate the herald i would never have like been able to kill you what can you do anyway um but yeah game three you bricked hideously and i opened kind of bonkers yes yeah it's fine and then yeah game three um just got out resourced um maroon says do a lot in the grave and i don't like it <laughs> yeah go ace <laughs> like you just clear their board and then they're like oh, i'm gonna banish this to add back this reborn spell and then i'm gonna banish this to bring back effectively a link three and then i'm gonna fucking banish this to do other shit i'm like can you fucking stop like just let me let me do my thing <laughs> You're also, in that point. entire run of three games, I think I got to resolve my send half your extra deck once. Every other thing it got, Marincess waved. I was like, okay, so not only am I not sending your extra deck, you're also making your monster unaffected for the turn. Fantastic. Love it. Marincess, good. <clears throat> it's not bad. Like, it's not a bad deck. As much as people like to give shit to it, it does what it does. It's fairly consistent. Like, it effectively has a one card combo that's super easy to do. Yes. And yeah, it can just sit on a massive body. Yeah, and if you find if you find ways to out all the other problem cards this format, and there's a wink on there, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, like it loses to the same thing that most decks lose to at the moment, where if there's a macro on board, it's a bit problematic for your graveyard centric deck. But yeah, it's fine. Um, okay, so moving on, uh, we start with Master Duel. So uh, we are in the midst of both festivals now running simultaneously, both the uh, Legend Anthology uh, Academy <laughs> and the uh, Synchro Fest. Um, yeah, I've finished the medals on uh, Legend Anthology, um, did all the things on that uh, yep. just because it was easy and I wanted the little Academy thing for whatever reason. Um, Synchro, not so much. Um, I you don't know how to make white cards no i do it just gets very boring you're not playing goes fast decks then well you are you and you're alive. still not like I'm done. just winning every game oh yeah of course because i'm playing shit yeah that's the thing i didn't well, want to no, have but... to craft a whole nother bullshit run of decks so i just stuck with sword soul but sword soul has been nerfed in the fact that you don't have links and uh mogi is at one so it makes it very hard to play. Also, Protoss is banned, so I can't just summon a thing and go, ha <laughs> Like, it does force you to, like, go into some really unique combo lines, which I kind of appreciate. But, yeah, I just want to be able to run through Mogi. They've done this with Sword Soul before in a festival where, like, you had to kind of play a bit different and weird. I'm like, oh, I the think... other, I'm like, the other Sword Soul cards aren't that bad. They're all right. Yeah, look, they can do some stuff. I, I think it was the last Synchro Festival, uh, but I can't remember what they banned. I, I don't know if it was just... Um, yeah, I'm assuming it was just the fact that you didn't have links that people were playing, like the random level 6 and the Battle Trap Tuner Negate thing uh, well, that no, came so with yeah. it. You're, um, you're live on the podcast right now. What's up? Okay. Well, I'll talk to you later then. <laughs> Bye. Ben orchestrated that call to flex on the fact that he has a girlfriend. And probably none of you do. Except for Paul, who has a wife. Ah. I respect that, Paul. <laughs> All partners. All partners. Not true. Look. Just be happy with yourself before subjecting someone else to yourself. That's one way to phrase it, I guess. Eat yeah. your vegetables. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> it's a lie made up by a big farm. Not big farmer, just big farm. Big farm. Yeah. <laughs> big farm be oh, like, we have these orange things. They make you see in the dark. Those are one of the so ones that like, is bullshit. <laughs> also, it is actually bullshit, so go fuck yourself. It has nothing to do with that. That's a lie they made up to fool the Germans. What? The whole eating carrots at night thing was yeah. just shit that they told, like, to fake out the Germans. It was actually because they had, like, night vision tech. Oh. The British soldiers eat their carrots. The Germans were like, they give me some carrots. They also did that. <laughs> and they told the German kids. And the British kids. And all the kids. If you eat this carrot, it will make you see. Anyway, <laughs> um, the uh, dual pass in Master Duel has also refreshed, I uh, believe, today. Um, so I'm just double checking. Um, so, assuming that it has, because uh, we definitely didn't know these uh, a week ago, um, 
the uh, 50 point range or level 51 is a background for i want to say utopia draco future or something along oh those lines. yeah yeah one of those just yeah. a thing i oh, know i've never been a huge fan of like the backgrounds i just have the one there and it just stays there but it's the don't change it Jake. yes the mate at level 75 is cyframe gear gamma how many just one ah uh-huh. okay cool. yeah it's just one TCG accurate gamma. Yes, it is an accurate gamma. <laughs> my um, my background for ages was the. Uh... Does it tra- does it transform the driver? That would be sick. It won't. I can guess it'll just sit there with its ugly fucking head, and when you press it, it'll just go. <laughs> Every time you draw driver, it should just start like it should glow. For both you and your opponent, so everyone knows. <laughs> He's got the driver. <laughs> that'd be that'd be awesome. For ages, I had fucking. What's his name? Golden Lord Boots um, as my background. Sexy Boots? Yeah. And only... Was it this Lord? Or yeah, was yeah. It no, this no, no. Lord? It's this Lord. It's this Lord. Oh, okay. And he leers over the field. He's like, oh, my hands. <laughs> <laughs> then I finally changed to Kagari. <laughs> what know. is that voice for Golden Lord? My, my hands. hands. <laughs> <laughs> my hands. <laughs> my hands. <laughs> Yeah, I mean... I hope there's a voice and character change for when Sassy Lord enters in Season 2. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was more more like... My hands. Look on my hands. <laughs> we both went for the same voice. I just copied yours. Is he in the anime? <laughs> what? No. No. He's in the manga. He's in the... He's in the manga? He's in the manga. The same manga where so is yeah. Ray has a birthday? Hmm? Is it the Ray's birthday manga? Yeah. I don't think Sky Striker plays want to acknowledge her birthday. No, they don't like that. Well, they... some of them do. But yeah, look at Gary background now. <laughs> <laughs> Sus! <laughs> <laughs> um, so I can't remember how much this one costs. I'm assuming somewhere between seven to eight hundred. Mm. Um, if you're playing in the Legend Anthology and the Synchro Fest, you probably earned more than that anyway. So should be relatively yeah, free i've got like six thousand gems <laughs> yeah like what that's are you great. gonna buy some, these packs are shit anyway just start buying cosmetics yeah that's a good point i they suppose can... at the moment like even in the next pack i'm assuming that's not going to be cash or anything super relevant so you can probably just buy some nice aesthetic things like the cyburst field or some new sleeves or a shitty background that no one cares about 19 hours left fuck jeez i need thousand eyes so by the time this is published it'll be fine oh that's true yeah, just cut out this bit that I'm talking about. Nah, <laughs> right now. Never. Oh, I've, I've got a, I've got a flag. I've got before, a flag. Oh, jeez, I will fucking end you. <laughs> Why are you gonna get banned for? For leaking shit, Ben. You've done worse than that. Yes, but in the eyes of Konami, those aren't a crime. <laughs> like just tax the... evasion and fraud. <laughs> <laughs> I treat my cards as a shell company. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what um. That's the big problem with Pokemon cards in China at the moment. Like, they just all cottoned onto the value. And so they just use it as cat like. And so it's just to completely wipe the Japanese trading card market. I can't wait for the day in 10 years where, like, illegal corporations are, instead of trading crypto and other stuff, they're just trading, like. <laughs> C- I got my quartz C- raises. <laughs> CSGO yeah. skins and fucking starlights. Yeah. Oh god. Anyway, uh, moving on to the physical card game, uh, we have a few oh, announcements of upcoming wasn't, products. Wasn't there, well, was the Master Duel ban list last week? Oh no, I do have a link. There for that. was a Master Duel ban list. Yes, 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 yes. It yes, sucked. Yes, yes. Um, I've got a link for yeah. it here yeah. somewhere. It was okay. But yeah, was I mean, cool. as there's five cards, and all of them were unnecessary. So they are, they ban, they limited EEV. Yep. They limited Flawanderies. Yeah. Empen, yeah. Uh, yeah, they limited Empen, and they limited uh, Suliak. Suliak. Yes. Then... Which, fine, I was like, oh, okay, I'll just play one then. Well. They're like, <laughs> oh no, the fact that I was playing two... Yeah, I'm like, alright, I'll just find... I'll just yeah, now space. everyone has to play the optimal build of running Heartbeat, so that when you send the Suliak, you can Ooh. add it back. <laughs> Why were you not playing Heartbeat already? I was playing Heartbeat. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, some people weren't. Yeah, those people are stupid. I mean, you may as well, like... Especially when you've got as many people thinking they're fucking edgelords and running branded. It's just like, oh, I've sent your branded beast back to the deck. What the fuck are you going to do now? Nothing. You ain't doing shit. (laughs) Heartbeat. My heartbeat. Good song. 
I'm thinking of fucking that show from the 80s, that Australian TV show, the police show. Or is it a medical show? I don't know. The one's like, heart beat, do, 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 something, 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 huh. and something, and something. I don't mean what you refer, but it's... Sometimes your memory makes me think that you're an evil genius. Other times, <laughs> your memory th- th- makes me think... Going... <laughs> <laughs> the other times my... Me- my... Your memory makes me think that you should be in a straight jacket. <laughs> I, I was gonna put it on, but then we'll get I get we get demonetized. Yes. Well, no. this is George. What? Oh no, this is the this, George this, is, this is the new one. There's a um, new one. Have the yeah. same theme? <laughs> oh, it's UK apparently. Oh. No, no, it's us. UK loved it too. UK viewers, remember Heartbeat? Do we have any of those? I'm sure this there's, one. There's a couple. Um anyway, so that band this comes into effect as of the first of July. Again, probably won't make that big an impact, which is kind of the point. Um, it's just like bringing tier a little bit further down, and for whatever reason, Flawundery as well, because fuck them, uh, <laughs> just bring them a little bit down as well. Um, Was the virus turning up? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. It, it happened in the TCG, and they were like, "Well, what? we bring these out monthly, so let's do this one now." And we'll do the TCG one in six months. Uh, let's it... do, do this one now, and then we'll worry about acknowledging the best take later. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, but it is interesting in the um, sort of meta um, analytics of what I've seen of Master Duel, they're putting um, Sprite a lot closer to tier now, and I think it's purely on the fact that they can summon Avramax, and most people aren't running it out to Avramax. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to be real. I, I zoned out there. I mean, Sprite's still hit plat. Like, it's... It's still a fine deck. It's just not Toad-related. Yeah, it's Slime kind of... Toad? No, the other one. The one that's dead. Wait, what does Swap go to? Uh, Swap to two. Swap to two. Man. Now I can only play my two ulties. Make oh, crap. I don't know where they are again. <laughs> You keep losing these things. Greg oh, loses ulties all over the house. Yeah, I know this. Loses the, the random times I've been like, the oh, there's an ulti under the lounge. <laughs> hey, Bragg, I've been your ulti Terratop. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, the Terratops <laughs> are like, I, I'm more concerned about that. I'm more, I, I like frogs more than Terratops, to be honest. Oh, yeah. Two better than three. Anywho, um, so. Moving on to the physical guard game, we have some announcements of product coming out very soon. Uh, the most, the best product ever. Yeah. Uh, so this Quick one. Title? So this one is the twenty uh, fifth anniversary <laughs> rarity collection. I was hoping it would bait and go to the start of it. I was thinking about it. <laughs> it did cross my mind. That's the best product ever. Uh, so um, this is very similar to the line of product that the OCG got. Um, probably won't be exactly the same, but uh, it does have uh, a lot uh, of similarities. Uh, 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 there's a one card difference in the card count. Yes. Uh, theory is that card is maxi being removed. Yes. Oh, okay. So we yeah. got one less. Yeah. Uh, yes. Oh, cool. We Hold do on. in fact get seventy nine. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's seventy nine cards in total, um, each available in seven different rarities including two brand new rarities. Uh, so Super Ultra Secret, uh, quarter, Quartzy Rarezies, um, <laughs> Platinum Secret Rares, uh, Prismatic Style Collector's Rares, uh, made with Extra Sparkle. Um, new... I kind of don't like those. No, I... Yeah. No, I do. I'm about them. I like, the, I, I like the old secret. And then new Prismatic Style Ultra Rares with a raised 3D varnish effect. Uh, yeah. This is the same as the Japanese Ultra Ultimate Rare technology, previously available only in Asia. Yes. So, I like those as well. So, theoretically, if you purchase three cases of this set, I think you're guaranteed to get a play set of each card in every rarity. Well, at least you have enough distribution, because the ratios in these are quite good. It's like one in three of your ultras will become an ulti, and then one in six of your secrets will become a... Uh, whatever the new Starlight is, or Quartzy Rezies. Quartzy Rezies, yep, 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 yep. yep. So some of the cards that they've announced that are definitely coming for us are Ash Blossom, Nibiru, <clears throat> Effect Veiler, Imperm, uh, Baron de Fleur, uh, Savage Dragon, and Egyptian God Slime, as well as Pot of Prosperity, Triple Tactics Talent, and Forbidden Droplet. 
Um, going off the OCG, um, again, if it is going to be a direct parallel to what they got, um, some of the ones that they received, so I'm just trying to find the picture. Um, so they got a bunch of other stuff like Ghost Bell, uh, Lancia. Was it like the full Ghost Girl set? Or... Uh, I don't know if it's the full Ghost Girl set. Or Effect Fate Lock. Event was one of the ones I said. Okay. Good. <laughs> uh, Dark Ruler No More, Cyber Agile Ben 10, Tour Guide, Sword Soul Iris for reasons. Um, they have specifically right. the Sassy Lord, which would actually be really nice. Sassy Lord and Quartz Erase it. Sassy Lord. <laughs> uh, so Change cool. of Heart, uh, Reasoning, Rota. Um, schism. <laughs> I'm gonna get that. Quartzy Rezzy Schism? <laughs> Quartzy Rezzy Schism. Um, D Barrier, Harpy's Feather Storm, evenly matched. Um, ooh, Punishment. Um, I mean, we've already had a few good prints of that. There's a couple of, like, specifically archetypal ones, like Albaz. Um, what's the other one I was thinking of? Uh, da, 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 da. there was one I was thinking of. Uh, the Dear no, Servant. No. Um, What's the other one? I'm oh literally God, looking this, at it. This sucks. Uh, sassy? Not sassy. Oh, they're doing both. Okay. Well, well again, they did both. They did both in the OCG. Lone Fire Blossom is also a kind of cool one. Oh, the extra deck. I forgot hey. about the extra deck ones. Ding! Ding, 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 ding. Hey, right, um, your, your boy, um, Redo. Yeah, yeah, my boy. Um, Avramax, also my boy. Um, oh, they're doing... Oh, again, they did the um, alt art of Ibli Riding Nightmare Unicorn. And the regular And the regular one. How do I keep missing the fucking normal ones? I just, like, tunnel vision onto the alt arts. What the fuck? Um, and some cool Xyz, uh, including a ghost trick for reasons. Um, oh, junk speeder. Junk speeder, which ghost trick? Um, Angel of Mischief. Oh, the win con. That's yeah, a yeah, cute yeah. one. That is kind of cool. That's the most played one. Um, because there's more cheese decks than ghost trick decks. <laughs> yes. Uh, Entus and Arclight are both getting, uh, prints, oh, got prints in this. So again, if we're believing that this is to be a direct translation minus the maxi, uh, this is a pretty good indication of some of the stuff we'll get, yeah. but there could be another couple of changes. Um, like they may well change out a couple of the cards that maybe aren't super popular yeah. in the TCG. Um, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what we end up getting. Um, but either way, yeah, as Ben said, if you do have the funds and want to get as many of the high rarity stuff as possible, it is sort of three cases and the ratio sort of work out that way. However, that is about $4,500. I'll buy one case. I'm in for one, definitely. Yeah, I'll probably end up being, getting one as well. Like, this is the kind of set where, like, you can probably buy a case, sell off what you don't like, and get a respectively decent amount of money left, like, back. Like... Yeah, and it, I suppose this is a question more so for Australia consumers than anywhere else is the potential issue is actual availability. De demand exceeding product, because there's a chance demand will massively out outdo product, like product supply. And it depends on how exclusive they actually want this product to be as to how much they actually send out. Yeah. So, yeah, another reason why Konami hates Australia. Just give me the cheapest prosp. <laughs> I'll give you um, a, a super rare because it'll be available in super in the set. Well, yeah. So in that regard, for each pack, it'll have two super rares, one secret rare with a one in four chance of being one of the upgraded platinum secrets or quartzy raresies, uh, and then two ultra rares, each of which has an individual one in six chance of being upgraded to the prismatic collectors or prismatic ultra rare. I saw one in three on the press release that I saw. Are you thinking maybe this? No, no, no. It was definitely, like, where they had the three rarities listed. Interesting. Interesting. Wait, does that... Click source. It'll take you to the actual page. That'll answer all the questions, because it's on the actual Yu-Gi-Oh! website. Uh, I have to accept cookies, but I don't get to eat them. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, yeah. yeah, one in four. Okay, sure. I thought I read one in, one in three originally. Maybe my math's then off on collecting everything as a it but you still hey, got a pretty solid chance and whatever you don't want you case. can sort of trade um I, I am dumbfounded as to the fact that they're printing this as just actual booster packs like making these booster packs and putting them in a booster box is absurd like what is that no like in a good way mm. this is like the most non-konami thing i've seen in a long time 
Like, I would have expected this to be a, oh, no, no, no. You, you pay us $60, we give you four packs in a big bit of plastic, and we call it a day. Instead, no, the actual booster boxes, which is, hmm. yeah, like, astounding. It's, it's as begs if Konami doesn't want to fuck us over for once. Yeah, well, it begs the question, where where's the catch? Where's the catch? <laughs> what gets banned? This what? product is actually going to be, like, <laughs> those stupid magic things. It was like... Oh, you thought this case was fifteen hundred? It's actually ten. Like, I, I guess the the here's where they fuck you over is if you're like a high end collector that has all of this shit and max rarity. Already, that is true, actually. You've yeah. been fucked over, but I don't care about you. <laughs> like, normie mindset, eat the rich. <laughs> I thought they might have have done this with the tins it's kind of weird that it's another booster though yeah like it's yeah it begs the question what special thing they're doing with the tins they did they it yeah, doing yeah they, yeah, the they are doing something special with the tins but i don't know what it was quartzy resis in the tins yeah quartzy resis but they're doing quartzy resis in every product leading up until i don't know the end of the year you'd assume it's gonna be nice to get so many quartzy resis <clears throat> you reckon i can pull the quartzy resi from my structure deck structure deck yeah yeah I don't know, whatever structure deck they release. Surely they're going to put one out. Starter deck. Will they sneak in Quartzy Rezies in there? Oh, into that. That would yeah. be wild. Well, let's have a look at what's coming in the two-player starter sets that's coming. What if there's um, Quartzy Rezies in this? <laughs> Doubtful. Then this would be the best product of the year. Uh, so, um, yeah, as Ben and I sort of discussed off-camera, this seems to be very close to stuff that they actually just used to give. Yeah. This used to be something that they just gave you for free. You went to locals and you were like, I want to learn to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And they were oh, supposed to give wait. you this little free deck. Actually, it's so much worse than that. Um, okay, yeah, so I'm just on. reading through the press oh, release. Did you not know it comes with the other stuff? No, it'll let me read through. For those who may not have also read this because they assumed that they didn't care. Uh, so using two different decks to go head-to-head, -head, the starter sets 64-page comic book walls you, walks you rather through a scripted, non-randomized duel to teach you TCG basics from the beginning... From your first card draw through summons and battles to the extra decks, synchro and Xyz monsters. It's fucking scripted. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's scripted decks. Yeah, but you can also use the starter decks to verse each other. Yeah, like I understand friends. that. You can just shuffle and ignore the book. But, like, it's so funny that, like, oh, this is the best way to teach you how to play the game. If solo modes have taught me anything, they teach you nothing. <laughs> really? Well, I mean, yeah, maybe... A but, solo mode shows you, like, one mechanic of what a deck does, and then, oh, I just so happen to have exactly the right amount of damage on board. This so, <laughs> the, the, the best part of this, you, you buy it, you read the comic, you know you've won. Then you just go to random friends and be like, oh, we should play. I want to play this deck. Oh, let's follow the script. <laughs> oh, I won. Oh, there, there oh would, I won. Honest, there would oh. be a kid that does that. <laughs> yes. I, I can see it now. My kids are called Jake. How the fuck dare you? You do that. Was that um was that French show? Was that scripted? Which French show? The the French Yu Gi Oh show. Remember they had that like playoff. French Yu Gi Oh. Yeah, they're all in suits. Like it was like a, a. I remember the Japanese one, but not a French one. Yeah, I thought they did in English as well, but okay. Not not in English, in French. I don't but, think yeah. the so, Japanese I mean, one was scripted. Okay, that's what yeah. I was. Huh. They seem to be having too much fun for it to be scripted. <laughs> and genuinely, it seemed like they were having too much fun for it to be scripted. Like when there was like the three dudes that were all just like backseat dueling to play the Atlantean deck. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, that's sick. Uh, so, yeah, with these two structures, you get two 44 card decks um, four, and. Four card, 40 card extra, four card side? Uh, so yeah, extra? four card extra. Yeah, yeah. 40, 40 card main, four card extra. It's going to be tough how to do a starter deck in the game here and now. Way, like, way back when, it was you could kind of have a generic -y deck, like a cookie cutter, and just mm. go at it. But uh, The fact that these are like one is Xyz and one is Synchros, they could just do effectively just Yuma versus Yusei? Is that the one? Members Yuma and not Yusei. Far out. I don't, I don't, I don't know if he's... Synchros versus Xyz. Uh, like they just pick the two anime protagonists and surely there's a fusion an X is a synchron link in this extra deck doesn't say so when you, when you have to choose which four deck card extra extra deck synchro and Xyz monsters that's all you get okay so hear me out 
they found product from 10 years ago that was like again those learn to play decks and I'm like just... what if we take out the is it the first of the dragons fusion was that the fusion that was in it? First of the dragons, perhaps? Is it first of the dragons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it absolutely yeah. wasn't fist of the dragons. I don't fucking care. <laughs> I've never summoned this card the fact before. Nearly, the fact that first of the dragons is nearly 10 years old now is actually kind of shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, just taking those just, out and yeah. just be like, yeah. Definitely brand new product. Don't look into it. $40, please. <sighs> Thank what, you. What was one of the... There was a quick play spell that does... Um, that increases attack. That they always put in those starter decks if it's bad. Reinforcements? No. Rush recklessly. So, no, 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 no. No, I mean, not the original ones. In that mid, in that 2008 to 2013 period, they just kept putting the same as like, like, here's Dark Hole, here's an equip spell, here's this. And it was just the same 20 cards over and over again. It's like, oh, okay. Space Mambo. Space Mambo wasn't Space quite a few. Mambo. It was. Mambo. The demo deck Space Mambo Space is Mambo. highest rarity of Space Mambo. <laughs> I went somewhere else for that. <laughs> but yeah at least they're giving something as opposed to nothing it'll be granted good, you have to pay for it but, it'll be good yeah. to point at an actual uh, an actual game product and not speed your product when I'm asked hey how should I pick up the game and now I'll be like ah, start it how should I pick up the game points at the 25th anniversary collection and says this has every staple you would need buy as much of it as you can get your hands on true then don't even use it just sit on it yeah, just sit it'll be it'll be a really good set to just not open to like it's the kind of thing that a month later will be worth more money the toon chaos first edition do you reckon i'll unlim on this set i imagine depends on how popular it is and i think it, i think it's wildly oh. popular they could the keep... question is will they surely mm. if they just kept printing it every like year you got enough people joining onto the game that you could just keep it running like, just keep selling them. They won't be able to print Quartzy Rarezies because it won't be the Quartzy anymore. True. Oh, yeah, just take the Quartzy Rarezies out in the unlimited, on the Unlim run. Yeah, Where yes. you're not making a profit, but you're still getting, you know, Pot of Prosperity. We're going to pull... Rest. There's going to be so many slimes. Like, every pack's going to be like... Wait was, it, wait, was Egyptian God Slime in the... In the it was in the blurb, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, That's... no, was it in that the OCG set? Well, so I can't even find the OCG set. Well, Jake had it up before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but... Discord. What's it called? It was, in fact. It was in there? Yeah. Surely then. This is but what's it called? Because what yeah, What was the set that this is based on? Tw- the set that came out in January, the 25th anniversary collection for Japan. Because I thought that was the well, two other... years ago. Yeah, that's the, what I'm uh, getting. The original rarity collection. I don't know. Yeah, that's well, I'm like, I'm like, it wasn't the 25th though, right? It's no. something else. It was like the rarity collection. It's a little too coincidental that that was an 80 card set and we're getting a 79 card set. Yeah. We have one card that's banned out of the 80. Yeah, it seems a little coincidental. But I don't think Pot of Prosperity had a reprint over there. So they've changed, they've, they're going to have changed cards. No, it definitely has reprints. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the Pros would have came with reprints in the initial set. Right? Oh, no, but I mean, yeah. only I thought it was only that wave that they're sitting on one wave as well because when I went looking for... No. When I went looking for any version of it, it's just like the only pot card gets played. Yeah, Desire's like only Sword Soul plays that, and even then it's like, nah. Yeah. Um, duality would be played if Lunder wasn't completely destroyed. Um, yeah. What else do you play? Extrav, only cringe decks. Next new story. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, next one is the uh, Japanese full deck list for the Jack Atlas structure. Um, so that's like, how you should start the game. Normal cards, as you'd expect. Um, some okayish reprints like Wandering King, Wild Wind, sort of an essential extender for the deck. That's um, the Panther, yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Phantom King Hydride. I've no, I've seen that name somewhere. I think it's like a level three tuner that sums itself somehow. Uh, Backjack for reasons. Um, Backjack is Jack Atlas. Uh, Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. Um, and Assault Beast and Psy Reflector, and I'm assuming Assault Mode further down. Assault Mode Activate? Yeah, yeah that one. Yep, there it is. Yep. Perfect. Yep, whole combo's there. Um, Fire Ant, Ascator, and Ascator Dawnwalker. They're sort of the old version and the new version of, like, the free synchro discardy thingies. Oh, yeah. Just gets you to stuff easier. Yeah. Um, Resonator Call, Resonator Engine, Resonator Command, Burning Soul. Pot of Extrav is a good one. 
Um, what else have we got? Is it? Oh, and that's the other thing with the Prospery print. I think it's going to already print another. Like now, we're getting low rarity. Are we going to get another crazy cracked pot card? Maybe. Because when we got, I mean, we didn't get one announced in um, the next two sets so far. Well, it, We've not had it a cracked pot set. Feb set, so we didn't get one in Feb, so we're not getting one for at least another year. Yeah. Yeah. And like, there's nothing in the next two sets that indicates we're getting one, so it'll be. It hasn't been extrabbed. Correct. Um, but in terms of extract stuff, they get a copy of Skylight, they get a copy of Abyss, they get a copy of Bane, and they get a red Supernova Dragon, which I think is the newish one that's a red tra retrain of Red Nova. Mm. Pretty sure. It's like your opponent activates a thing, it banishes everything else and something, something, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then they've got some creation shaking pack, no idea what this is supposed to be. Uh, they get a little booster yeah. pack inside of which, the Starbucks, they did, which they did random rarities. Yeah, they did one round of it for us where, yeah, it bumps up some rarities and includes the additional, like, stuff that might help. It was in the Charmers for us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so they get uh, Red Dragon, Archfiend, Red Nova Dragon, Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, King Calamity, Red Rising Dragon, and Scar Red Dragon, Archfiend. Yeah. And they won't be able to get Quartzy Razies of those at randomly answered. Yeah, no Quartzy Razies. No, they'll have Quartzy Razies in there. They wouldn't be Quartzies Razies, they'll be Twenty Sevsies Razies. <laughs> um, and then they get that specialty card that does nothing, the one that's called Everyone's King. It's just a picture of Jack Atlas with some children. Hmm. Yes. Stupid card. And then, Master of Faster. Master of Faster. Oh, um, we're watching a thing today. Apparently, you know um, the dude with the Australian accent in the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh? That plays like the fourth, battle fourth? suit? So, uh, so from um, the Silvory Calcos dude, the Silvory Calcos arc. Oh yeah, yeah, Joey's rival. Dan yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that was supposed to be a Cockney accent. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's supposed to be Cockney. They fucked it up so bad. Because <laughs> I mean, we used to think Atlas was Australian. I, I don't know. There's a there's a contingent. I don't know. Like just... maybe that is that voice actor's attempt at a Cockney, but. Especially the Oricalco's blood, that came off way too Aussie. Mm. Like, or it was, attempted Aussie. It was really bad. But yeah, we're watching a thing today, and, it, and when he said it was meant to be Cockney, I was like, holy shit. Also, most of the people's arguments against that is going, well, they don't refer to Australia, so how can they be Australian? It's like, well, they don't refer to fucking Britain. I don't know. Australia doesn't exist in Yu-Gi-Oh. Except yeah, it does. For when, <laughs> yeah, when, <laughs> when Uluru Sunrise gets played. Yeah, when uh, Chumley desecrates the sacred land. <laughs> yes. Uh, some of my best kangaroo. <laughs> That's not how Chumley speaks. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and some of my best kangaroo. <laughs> that was just the same accent pitched up. <laughs> yes. Chumley's probably Certainly one of my favourite voices in all of it because it's not like grating on the ears. It's just like, he's okay. just there. His voice actor changed in season two. Yeah. It's not the same voice actor, season one, season two. <laughs> Shit, I didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> See? The things you learn. The Me and Jake learned a lot today. Oh, I have to show you a video after this too. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we have the TCG announcement for uh, the Age of Overlord set. Uh, mm. So it'll be coming out October 20th for us. No um, one's give a fuck. No, not... Oh, well, maybe. The Rarity collection comes out this, two weeks later. No one's going to give a fuck. <laughs> They're sneaking earlier. Yeah. Because right. are we in COVID, we fell a month and a half behind. Yeah. So they need to hurry it up a little. Yeah, so just kind of resetting us back okay. into the time frame that, that we're supposed to be. Because like, Battles like of what Legend we're is getting like. now is, yeah. was way later last year. I could swear that last quarter pack was always like pre-release towards the end. And then even sometimes it debuted like in November. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, now we're way, part, like, we're way forward from that. Hmm. Because we're trying to bring it back a little bit. Oh, I'm even talking about a few years before that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like Invasion of Vengeance, for example, was November. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it I was. Oh, my God. We slipped out to being like four and a half months behind. And now we're pulling it back to get to three months. Yeah. Keep going. Get it to none. <laughs> I'll take it at three months. I'm happy Play with it even list. three months. That way um, I don't have to wait too long to get my rescue ace cards. For fuck's sake! For cool. a month away, Jake. It's just always. Well, this is a the this away. is the thing that I fear for you, Ben. Is that you talked like this about dinos, and then you played dinos, and you hated it. No, he didn't hate it. Dinosaurs hated me. Either way, you stopped playing them. 
So my fear is that you'll hype up your fireman, you'll play your fireman, your fireman may hate you, you may hate the fireman, and then you'll stop playing them. Well, um, he's, that he's is my fear for you. One card starters. He's won locals with them. He Who has. Is that? I, I mean, I the told... joys of having a working elevator again. <laughs> it's pretty good. Alright. Okay, yeah. Um, level six, please. Spoilers. We've been level doxed. We've been doxed. <laughs> that's why, well, that's why I stopped on. speaking so that you could potentially edit this out, but apparently you don't care. Eh. <laughs> anyway, come at me, bro. Just say, <laughs> just say menu log. Yeah, just get to the house. Menu log. Come on up. Oh, someone's ordered beep. Yeah. <laughs> to be real, I do that all the time. Yeah. I answer the phone, I'm like, ah, oh, someone's probably got menu log. No problem. One time it was Kurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was the one time me and Bragg were like, go away. <laughs> uh, so, back to the Age of Overlords announcement. So, the main things they're hyping up in this are the King uh, Supreme King's Ark support, uh, the next wave of Mana Diem support, Mana, no, no, no. Uh, and the Horus cards as well. Um, they also mentioned that we're getting the 25 Quartzy Rezies in this one. 25 uh, Quartzy Rezies? Yeah, that's what they're doing in each of them. In each main set, we're getting 25 Quartzy Rezies. Yeah. In Duelist Nexus, we're also getting 25 Quartzy Rezies. So I can get Quartzy Rezies final? Well, I don't know yet. I'm in. Give me all the Quartzy Rezies. <laughs> Could have done it for the I want my Quartzy Rezies finals. Uh, and no mention of a TCG archetype in the, um, in the blurb. Ooh. Uh, yeah, no, uh, mention of any exclusive, exclusive, um, TCG world premiere cards. So I wonder if they're still wondering if it's going to be a... Is it still a hundred card set? Yes. Actually, sorry. Uh, possibly 121. Oh, 101, okay. I should say. Because, uh, 24 of these cards are available as quarter century secret rares, and one special card is only available as a Quartzy Razies. So they are printing Feynman in Quartzy Razies. Oh, for fuck's sake. Nothing indicates that the two cards of support that you're getting Those. are going to take up two of the 25 quarter century... Spots. It might be that they... Oh, that would be oh, even better. Imagine, be one of... imagine if they give the one... Quartzy Rares is only spot to fireman because they're I'll like, oh, they're doing really well in the OCG, so we kind of have to, like... No questions asked, I'll pay it. <laughs> Go, oh, Ace. So Go, Ace. <laughs> do, 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 do. Go, Ace. But yeah, 20th of October uh, does have some Quartzy Rares, so people will get into it to some extent, whether they get into it as much as they would the uh, sort of collection edition pack thing that's coming out. Hard to say. Um, I'm now so keen for the next set. We're only one month away. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to hear about it every day. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set I'm gonna set a daily reminder to remind Jake that the new set's X days away. You won't need to, because you're going to talk about it every time I see you. Like, there is no need for a reminder. Do you reckon Siri will let me place a countdown timer until a certain date, and it will just constantly have it, just like pending? Yeah. Yeah, the, there's also there's apps you could just get for that. There's widgets where you can just set 49 days. Um, anyway, um, in terms of time frame, I was kind of hoping that the OCG list would be out by the time we did this, but apparently it's not coming out until 10. Three hours So, away. yeah, um, that'll be at a later edition podcast. Um, but what are we Next thinking? Week's live in Brisbane podcast. Yes, true. Uh, that is a good point. Uh, we will be uh, over in Brisbane for Oceanics, where we'll be doing next week's podcast. Um, so look forward to that. Uh, basically, it'll be pretty much the same, except we'll be tired because we will have been doing stuff all day. And the lighting will probably be worse because we can't take these with us. <laughs> and the audio quality might be worse because I might Jerry rig a, a setup. Yeah. So expect this, but worse. <laughs> Pretty much. The YCS one was kind of rough. Yeah. It was alright. Good uh, things were said. I how to get a regular little microphone. Yeah. In it fairness, was also we a thought twenty minute pod because we thought we'd get kicked yeah, out. Yeah, we thought the security was coming to kick us out, so we like full Blair witched it out of there. We're just like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, back to the OCG ban list. Um, what do we think that they're going to address? What do you foresee them changing? I was going to say if it's that crazy, we can talk about it midweek, but... Oh, no, it's fine. 
Just a oh, case. If it's like absurd. Yeah, yeah, if it's if it's a crazy one, yeah. I would like to address it. But yeah. me and Ray will okay. order a live so reaction. We're, you're either going to do a full video hours. midweek next week or tomorrow. Um, right. Or we do a footnote on next week's podcast. We'll do both. But me oh. and Bragg might do a video in an hour. We might do it like a live reveal. Okay. That does mean you're staying up to one. at least 10. Yeah, it's going to be us to 10 and yeah. Select to one. That is all. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm slightly concerned they might legitimately hit rescue ace cards. Yeah. Well, I mean... Like, on a serious note, Jake, it was the most represented deck in Top Cuts last week. I like guess. Period. Last week, last yeah. period, or whatever that is. Are you honestly concerned about a week of topping and your fire engine the dying? O- the OCG in the OCG. The OCG the is done. Area more, but... that doesn't affect you at all. But what if I want to play it at Worlds? Branded also did really well in the T- OCG. Do you know what it does in the TCG? Fucking nothing. It's because it loses Ash Blossom. People will counter your deck if it becomes good. That's the thing. Yes. And I just don't see it being as powerful a thing as like, oh my god, we have to stop the fire engines. Uh, but I'm, I'm just getting at the fact that OCG will probably hit it. Like, it's again, a very realistic thing. What effect does that have on you? You probably hit the OCG. And? The quality of firemen in the Japanese world will be worse. What if there is a school on fire and no one receives proper training? <laughs> training? Like yes. Dequichi? Yes. I don't know why I went Dingo to Gustav before that, but <laughs> yeah, your draw one <laughs> flip draw effects. Cards. <laughs> uh, Sometimes you just want to draw cards. I reckon uh, King of the Swamps probably a shout. Yeah, I could see them doing something with that, but also there's another three or four cards that do kind of the same that thing. That's Pulp. Yeah, but in terms of copying and affecting Grave, or copying yeah. a future material in Grave. Ban every Terrell and this monster. Because clearly they them. like them over there. They'll, yeah, but it's, they'll it's, still it's, keep playing it's it. It's kind of <laughs> sad at this point that they're just like. It's only years. I, I quite keep... admire the fact that they keep going. Like, it doesn't really matter what it's they do so until annoying. they actually kill the deck off. People will just be like, I can still find an avenue to play this deck. Did Pearly get hit last ban list for them? No, no, it's just. Um... This is. Yeah, it's just super telegraphical. Dropping off to yeah. Fireman. Okay. And um, Branded. And Cash. Interesting. Do they uh, hit Branded Fusion? Have they already hit Branded Fusion? Uh, uh, I think it's yes, one yeah, to the one. one. Yeah. yeah. It'll be one. interesting. Anyway, me and Bragg will see you in three hours to, to discuss this. <laughs> um, um, Birth. They've still got super heavy yeah. samurai running around. Taking a limit fire hydrant. Uh, Toad to minus one. I wonder if they'll copy... <laughs> hydrant to two. And if they copied the same pearly hit, that apparently was really effective. Delicious. I fucking... What? Happy... No, my friend Pearly went on auction the other day for like $13. Yeah, this feels bad. Yeah, I was like, if I knew this went for $13, I would have bought it. Especially because you still needed one. Yeah. 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 Oh, what do you do? What do you do? I mean, not playing until the Corsi Razzy Pearly and... August anyway. What I mean, it's too, it's way too late for those three archetypes to get those bu- like those rarity buffs. I didn't see anything about Pearly getting one in the um, rarity collection. No, Not in no, Nexus. In the Megatins. Oh, Nexus. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Um, what anyway. are you in Nexus? Uh, one more spell and another trap. I'm pretty sure that kind of it kind of they're also not in the Megatins. There was another Xe. Oh, the Xe. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe it's not another spell then, because that means no, no, that okay. means they're out of spells. So there's they'll, no way they'll get quartzy razies. Yeah, but of shit ones. Ah, it's okay. They'll be quartzy razies. Well, wasn't it quartzy razies in um amazing? Whatever. We got collector razies. Rares. Rares. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on to our Discord. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link. Will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first question this week comes to us from 6R6. Actually, a lot of our questions this week come to us from 6R6. You? In fact, exclusively from 6R6. He's on the street. <laughs> he is very much let's, on the street. Let's get this man's so, answers. Question one. What are your criteria, ignoring rarity level, for a card to be worth money? Is it the effect, how generic it is, not once per turn, uh, the archetype it's a part of, or can facilitate an OTK slash FTK slash combo? Literally all of the above. <laughs> yeah, those all Put factor, them all right? together, and you've got yourself Powerpuff Girls. I didn't my, read. My, I didn't read Chemical X. Yeah, my oh, brain. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, 
Yeah, it's about that. Also, uh, demand. I, I mean, I also do like a lot of. I, I put a personal worth in it and go, look, I know my limit on this. Like, and you can point at whoever and go, that's them. It's like, okay, so then don't sell it to me. That's all right. Yeah. Cross five bucks. <laughs> I'll sell Never you works. I'll, I will sell you pros for five bucks in November. And they'll be super rare. And that's a good And he will buy them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll sell you a, a play set of pros for five bucks. And I too will probably buy a set of prosps of some rarity from someone so that I can finally Just play. Buy a case. Hmm? Just, you're buying a case. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's true. I, I did in fact say that. Yeah. Um, it's not record. Yeah. We're going to have a case battle. Oh, God. We've done that before. That was a terrible. The fucking case opening went for like an hour and a half and we didn't even pull a starlight. <laughs> yeah, that would be It went for so long. I had um, for an hour and a half and I opened a starlight in the first box. Yeah, it's like, all right, well, the next part of this is going to have not much tension at all, actually, but you still had a right. Could it be a second starlight? Yeah. Double <laughs> at that starlight. point, I would have just edited around it and had the first box be a last box. It was live. Ah, mistake. Yeah. Yeah, good viewership. Is it two starlight cases? Uh, I don't think it's possible yeah i don't think i've ever seen one one starlight or i've 50 seen starlight? i was gonna say if you go to america you can get an entire box of starlights oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, i think there is pretty like some will have zero some will have two some will have one okay yeah i just yeah in all like i, th I thought i would have like had one committed to memory if i'd seen it huh. let me know research um, it now get the laptop so yeah, for me, uh, the value that it has is, yeah, um, sort of generic things. So like big hand traps or big removal spells or just generic cards in general. Um, I try to get them in a nicer rarity to begin with. Like most of the time, the good stuff only comes in high rarity, so you kind of have to pay good money for it. Um, and then yeah, try and upgrade as time goes on because you just always get your value from those kinds of cards. Um, and then yeah, if it's an archetypal card that gets a random rarity bump, I'll try and grab that, like I did with um, Avramax um, not too long ago. I got the collect the rarities of that one. Wasn't a fan of it. Didn't look any better than the secret. In fact, I think it looked worse. But in you order to it as a quartz, you get the quartz. Oh, hundred percent. I'm getting the quartz rarities. Well, so that's way gold, isn't it? That quartz, yeah. The text. Yeah. So yeah. that's that's gold, yeah. Yeah, it's gold. The fiftieth anniversary color. 50th? Yeah. Silver's a fucking 25. No, the gold's 25. Silver's regular. Gold's 25. I mean, in the anniversary gifts. Ah, oh, okay. Okay. I don't, silver, I don't know what you meant to get. When I see gold and think anniversary, it's fucking 50. Come yes. on. Come on, Konami. Sure. It looks good. But this Not... one come first. Yeah, he probably would, wouldn't he? <laughs> Virgil's the, the Virgil has to put up with it. Yeah. A lot of shit goes on in that boat. <laughs> Next question. Uh, <laughs> what is your favorite style of drinking glass? Uh, does what you are drinking out of have any bearing on your feeling towards it? Yes. And it's exclusively those little, like, kind of fucking hand sized glasses. Yeah, you like those yeah, low like scotch glass. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. That's... Oh, you like short glasses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I like those for whiskey. Everything else comes from the Hungry Jacks cups. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I don't think they're particularly picky in this house. You ever have a Long Island iced tea in a Hungry Jacks cup? <laughs> I rate schooner glass. Really? Yeah. Glass. I can't remember the last time I got a schooner and it was not in a plastic cup. Mm, yeah, that's a bit gross. Was it? Um, I wasn't. Like, did you, oh, yeah, you weren't out, Connor. Okay. Everyone's I... too worried about getting glassed in Australia nowadays. It's like, you get plastic. The sun went down, plastic cups. <laughs> I like a tall glass. No. Nah. They ever give me the option, I'm like, <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> like, taller or short? Go fuck yourself. And this is why Ben's not allowed in bars. <laughs> Wait, he tall to... and to the brim? Like, hold on. A tall drink or... Yeah. No, no. A tall glass. A tall glass. I like tall drinks. Yeah. Uh, uh, what, what's the problem? I don't know. I'm just wondering how much... Because um, if you were to opt for a tall glass, you'd get, get ripped off while they'll just pour a bunch of ice in it and it makes it fucking taste shit. Oh, Are you filling to the brim with it, basically? 
when you have a taller glass. Yes, but it's still the same amount of alcohol. Uh, I feel like double shots in tall glasses. I just feel like double shots most of the time. <laughs> Says the man that, as as far as camera can read, is drinking straight from a vodka bottle. <laughs> I love 20 shots. <laughs> <laughs> I love all the shots. <laughs> Look, water from glass, nothing beats it. And the only glass I own is either from Hungry Jacks <laughs> or Liquor Land. <laughs> yeah i like taller glasses particularly because i am such a skinny person like if i have a bunch of shorts it makes me feel like i haven't drank as much so then i'm inclined to drink more so i'm drinking faster and then i have blackouts um so yeah i get talls i drink slower everybody has a good time nobody vomits anywhere everything's fine uh next (laughs) question comes to us again from six i six uh what do you hope your current deck says about you as a player? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Comes in two parts. So it is a self-reflection. Um, so, Bragg, what do you hope that your current deck says about you? Uh, that I'm jumping on the trend of engage to two. And linkage is an OTK facilitator. That is what I hope everyone reads into my usage of Sky Striker. And not that I'm a brainless pervert fuckwit. <laughs> How do you feel people would view you playing Fireman? <laughs> Go loose! <laughs> you are obsessed with that. It's actually really weird. It's a good deck. It's a fine They're cool. deck. It's me. Yeah. It's it, fine. It's fine. Yeah. And they're cool. Firemen are cool. People go like, oh, this is neat. And then you set four from deck and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, I hate like, this now. Like, oh, yeah, this is really cool. And you go, oh, I fixed a search. And they go, I am perm. You go, no, no, this can't be targeted. Is there a link to, like a generic link to that stops over its playing to from being targeted? If there Not is. Anymore. No? What was it? Elf, sprite elf. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't have had a level two to make it. Just another, no, they, just another link two. I was gonna say you just do some uh, fucking no, around. Specifically, just getting two monsters into a link two, so I can summon the big guy and have that also not be able to be impermed. If my opponent tries to imperm the level one. How much shit do you want, bro? Calm your fucking fuck. Is there like seriously not just a link two that points down that there all it does a, is protect the I targeting? Think. There might be a dark one. Yeah, I'm. There's. I'm. It's not my cracker. Fuck. What is it? My cracker. All guys from the under. The top yeah. Does she top have it? Big cop. No. Cool? B Cop tributes and puts a token on something so it can't be destroyed. If this exists, comment it down below so that I can play. I'll comment now. It doesn't. Um, it does. But, um, on to me. Uh, I don't think that my deck puts me in a good light at the moment. Um, I don't, like, I'd say probably 20% of people look into it and they're like, oh, that's kind of cool. Like, at least Ritual can do a thing. Most other people are like, stop fucking with my extra deck. <laughs> stop. Just stop. It's, <laughs> it's kind of rough until just don't just don't rely on your extra deck. Uh, you weak duelists, use your main deck cards. This from an avid skill drain supporter. Weak oh. duelists. Yeah, I mean, okay. I, yeah. Summon uh, Gene Walt Warwolf with skill drain on the field. What are you going to do? <laughs> Summon Dante. Mill three for cost. <laughs> Yeah, hope you mill something good. So hey, just a... Dante in defense. Yeah. Gene Wolf, Warwolf ain't doing shit. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, and yeah, the second part of this question was, uh, do you agree with the other members' self-assessments? You guys all agree with me. It's hard to agree with a non-statement. A non-statement? It says everything. It's literally onomatopoeia. It says nothing. No, it says everything. Good card. What a good card. Onomatopoeia. That is a good card. Yeah. Oh. Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's utopia. Oh, yeah, I guess it's the pun. Yeah, yeah. I've always just read it as just the word. No, it's onomatopoeia. 
I think it's spelt slightly different too. It's not spelled like mm. onomatopoeia. Oh yeah, no, no. Yeah. Anyway. So crazy to end the podcast. Yes, we are indeed out of questions. <laughs> okay. Without having completed the last question, but that's okay. Uh, but thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are listening along, feel free to favourite. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord, ask us questions for next week. Uh, as previously stated, we will be at Oceanics, so if you are there, please come up and say hi to us. Um, we'd like I'm going to try and figure out a way to do it so we can just do everything. Yes, we will figure out how we're going to format it. But otherwise, we will catch you next week. Peace.